Hi, this is Paul Osvetto of Windows Phone Central. Here with a video review of Kino Console for Windows Phone 8. This is a unique app that allows you to stream PC games and play them on your phone, either using the touchscreen or with a Moga controller. Before using Kino Console, you have to download an app on your PC and install it. Then you're going to need to go into that app settings and scan for all of your Steam games and then you can manually decide whether you want those games to show up on the list in the app or not. So now I've got a variety of games I can choose from. The games have to have controller support and they have to be able to run in windowed mode which prevents some of these from running unfortunately. But we are going to find one that will work just fine with the touch screen. After choosing the app you're taken to your PC's desktop now this can be a problem. If you have anything other than Steam uh, accessible on your desktop, you just won't be able to pick it because it only shows a portion of the desktop and not the whole thing. And this happened to me both streaming from my gaming notebook and streaming from my Surface, which has a much smaller screen really. So I just don't understand why they don't let you pan the screen around, but there is no way to do that. Ideally you are sitting at the computer and you can just manually launch whatever game you want to launch from the computer because doing it from here is a little bit difficult especially if you're not actually near the computer so now we've got Broken Age loaded up Broken Age has full controller support so I can use this virtual pad here and pick my save game This virtual controller is emulating the Xbox 360 controller, but it's missing several important buttons, especially left bumper, right bumper, and start. There is simply no equivalent on this controller, so if a game requires any of those to play, which a lot of games do, then you just can't play it with the virtual pad, so that's a really bad design. If you don't like where the buttons are located, you can edit controls. Then you can see here, doing that, reverses the position of some of the buttons, so that looks like a bug to me. Those buttons should not be there. But you can move the buttons around to wherever you want. What you can't do is add the missing buttons. That's bad. And also there's no way to reset it to the default either. Broken Age is a point-and-click game. So you move a cursor around and then you interact with people or objects. Don't suppose you have another knife in the back we can use? Broken Age is an ideal game to play with virtual controls because it doesn't require precision input. You just move the cursor around and, and choose things. Another issue with the on-screen controls, there's no option to make them transparent, so they block quite a lot of the view, which can be really annoying. This particular game you can pretty much play that way, but there's a lot of games where you would want to be able to see the different elements behind them. Maybe even this one. Another option you can do is show keyboard. So if a game requires keyboard input for some reason, like putting in your name, you can do it using this keyboard. Now we're going to disconnect. That lets you just pick a new game. However, the game is still running on my computer, which can be annoying. All right, now we're going to check out a game with the MOGA controller here. I've got a MOGA Pro controller. Here we can see another problem with the app, and that's that the menu is for portrait mode, whereas all of the games you're going to play are in landscape mode, and if you are using a controller, then you're doing everything in landscape mode. So they definitely need to redo the menu to support portrait. I would also like to be able to see just a list of games instead of having to slowly scroll through the icons like this. Not the most efficient thing when you actually have a lot of games installed. To activate the MOGA controller, we go to the phone's Bluetooth settings switch it on. I've already paired my device in the past so now I just need to switch the controller on and tap the controller here. Sometimes it takes a try or two to connect. Okay I got it to connect so now I quickly go back and launch the app again. The first time you connect to your computer you will have to enter a password that you created in the computer app. Not a big deal. Another thing is that this menu should be controllable with the MOGA controller. Why make us get our screen dirty for no reason, right? So first we are going to look at a more graphically intensive game because they do have something to do with the results. Oh look, I have to go to my computer and switch back to Steam. Wonderful. 
This is one of those games that's difficult to play with just the touchscreen, not just because of the controls, but also because there's no start button. So the quality of the streaming game depends entirely on your network connection. I've tried this before and had the severe graphical artifacting, but actually today it's running just great. It's a beautiful thing, but yet yeah, I'm really close to the wireless router. If I was to go upstairs and play this, all of a sudden it would look like kind of a garbled mess. This is also available on Xbox 360. So here I am in the game itself, getting a pretty good frame rate. It's going just a little bit slower than it would if I was just playing on the PC. I can drive around and create some mayhem. The so Kino console has a lot of fun possibilities. It's so great that it supports the MOGA controller. That is really the way to play it. At present, if you were not using MOGA, I just wouldn't even bother with Kino console because the virtual controls are in such dire need of improvement. Hopefully they'll work on that. The app is free by default and supported by ads. Sometimes those ads will pop up while you're playing. I don't know why, but that's obviously really annoying. So if you want to upgrade to the Pro version, it's a $5 purchase. For your $5 purchase, supposedly you also get better security and better performance. I don't know why the performance would be limited in the free version to begin with. But obviously it is performing really well right now, and I like that. So if you like the idea of being able to use your Windows phone like a handheld console when sitting around home, then yeah, Kino Console is a must download. If you were hoping to play remotely, in my experience, there will be too much graphical artifacting to make that very enjoyable. But it's still an option. Thanks for watching. Read the full review at WPCentral.com.